I'm back with a Dolly camera rig tutorial. In this video, we'll learn how to set up a Dolly camera and make smooth camera movement. The very first step before we start. Enable Dolly camera. Go to Edit, then Preferences, and click on Add-ons. Search Camera. Enable Add Camera Rig. Here again. Now we are ready to cook. Let him cook! Let him cook now! Let him cook! The very first work of any Blender user. Tell Next, add your 3D model. I'm using Blender Kit for this. I choose this flower pot. Let's add Dolly Camera Rig. Shift A and go to Camera then Dolly Camera. I feel the pot is too tiny, so let's scale it up. Press S after selecting all parts, because bigger is always better. Right. Now, add Dolly Camera Rig. It's time to learn about the Dolly Camera Rig. And why it's so special. The Dolly Camera Rig is like an armature rig. So to use it, we need to switch to pose mode. First, let's take a look at the aim controller. This is where your camera points and follows. Second root controller. Think of it as the boss that controls all parts at once. Third, our camera controller. It helps move the camera around to get the best shots. No more talking. Let's dive in and make it. In the timeline, switch it to video sequence. Press add button. Head to music. Add your song. Click on this icon. Waveform display. Then waveform on. Add beat markers here. Rhythm matters, unlike your excuses. Let's preview it. No music this time. Sorry for that. Timeline shorter than the music. Let's stretch it out. Click on this icon. In frame range, change end for now to listen full music. Let's preview it now. I'll remove this part from the track. To cut music, go here. Click on this tiny arrow. Select Cut Tool and Trim Music to match your timeline with music. For this, click on Music End. In my case, is 340. Change it in frame range. Finally, add your marker using the M key. After marking beats, switch to the timeline panel. Let's mute the music before we switch. Your ears will thank you. Press in. Make sure you are clicking audio panel. Now switch to timeline. Move playhead to frame zero. Time to set up camera. Set root controller to object center, like me. Step two. Set the aim controller on your object. Make sure you are in pose mode. <laughs> Set your camera starting spot, like picking the best seat in a theater. Most important part, change scene settings. Go to this icon. First resolution. For Instagram Reel, 1080 by 1920. You also can change FPS. But I go with 24. Go to the viewport corner. When this plus icon appear, click and drag left side. Click on new window. Hit nubpad zero to activate camera preview. All set. Now it's time to animate our camera. Set the starting position of the camera. Camera bit for 
your cinematic vibes. Select camera and press I. To insert keyframe, then select location rotation. Move to the next marker and set your camera position. Insert new keyframe. Use transform properties for precise control. Like here, I went my camera in center of the axis. For accuracy, use transform properties. Slightly drag the second keyframe backward and make next keyframe on the marker. Guess why? To switch camera instantly move to another position right on the marker, like my this edit. <laughs> Next camera spot, simple as hell, even my dog could do it. Also keep in mind, set camera aim right on the center where you went to lock it. Same things with next marker. One more thing, also add a keyframe before marker, if you want to change position instantly. Enjoy! Set the root controller at the object center to get a clean orbit camera movement. Like this. I don't want the orbit this time. I want the camera to follow the flower, so I'll set it manually. And now, let's move to the other flower. Here's what happens when I change the aim position. It moves slowly. But I want this to happen instantly. Add one keyframe just before you change the aim position. at the same orbit camera movement. This time we don't need an instant keyframe because I just want a seamless transition between the flower orbits. Now do the same thing with the other flower. Yeah, the video's getting a bit long. But trust me, after this, you won't need to watch any other tutorials.
one last camera movement, and we're done. Now you've learned everything about the Dali camera rig. You're ready to create your own. But if you want your camera movement to go one step further with smooth graph curves, keep watching. Let's preview what we've done. Most important thing, save your file. What is Blender Cache in middle? My work. Oh, are we safe? Okay, hold on. After this, go to Graph Editor. No more need for this preview. Select your camera controller to see its graph. Most of the camera movement is done here. Okay, don't be confused. Let me explain it in an easy way. First, open Camera Graph and lock all of that. Now we need to clean it up. Second, hide all of them. We just need to edit the X and Y location graphs to achieve smooth movement. Start with selecting Graph Point. In short, mess with it. Practice equals pro. Or just follow my graph. This point looks flat. That is, show no movement on X location, because it's on the Y location movement. Turn on Y location graph and unlock it. Here you see Y location movements. Select handle and move. It's also affect other handles. To fix this, select handle and right click. Go to handle type and select free. Make graph like me. And the next movement is on X location. Change handle type. Just follow my graph. This type of graph is called Ease Out. Starting fast to slow, make this type of graph on all point. I am going. Enjoy the video. here, type I am champion, because clearly you deserve a medal. Enjoy the final render. <laughs>